三百六，啥？三百六，这二刀。Thank you。Snuff is always exchanged as a traditional ceremonial greeting. Sogo and his wife Dashveg are the eldest and most honoured among their extended family. They have settled for the brief summer months in a district of West Mongolia known as Chandman. Mongol in here, right? Монгол орон гэж байсан цагт хэзээд малайж хэв байх хэстоо. Энэ учраас бол тэр Монголын энэ хэвээрэн байн энэндээ байна гөвжилтэй байх бах гэж би бодож байгаа шүү. Тэр Монголч бол Малтай хот таа. One of the key features about nomadic life is having a shelter that's portable and adapted to the local environment. Here that's what most people call a yurt, although the local word is gear. One of the most ingenious parts of the gear is the wall, which is made up of this lattice work of wood simply drilled and pinned together with rawhide. And of course, this is flexible and incredibly strong, as well as being light. The gear design is clever in its simplicity. It's completely transportable, perfected over thousands of years to complement the Mongols' nomadic lifestyle. Because the gear collapses into compact units, Mongols can break camp and load their possessions onto pack animals within just a couple of hours. The door is always orientated to the south, facing away from the prevailing Siberian winter winds. This is the roof ring. By tradition, this always has to go over the wall, never through the door. A rope is hung from the roof ring and anchored with a stone to stop it lifting in high winds. Pegs are never used, as it's disrespectful in Mongolian belief to disturb the earth. These poles are like the spokes of an umbrella holding the roof up. This is only a small gear, but there are 65 of them. And once they're all locked in place, the structure becomes incredibly strong. Once the frame's complete, it's covered in a series of layers. The gear is round in design to maximize stability against the buffeting of high winds. The secret of the gear's success is insulation. That keeps it cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And that's achieved by using this really thick felt. And they make that from their animals. The gear is completed by covering the felt in these two canvas covers. They make it look nice and protect it from rain and snow. Finally, a tailored felt is placed over the roof hole. This cover is adjustable, making it possible to regulate the ventilation. Oh, oh. 